Yankees and the Guardians are in a pretty good game. Guardians are up by one in the bottom of the ninth inning. Donaldson leads off against Classe. 99 inside ball, 98 outside ball, 98 outside ball, 99 low. That's a leadoff walk. They pinch run Tim Lo Castro. He's fast. He immediately steals second base during Hicks' at bat. Hicks gets out. Gallo gets out. They're down to their last out. And it's up to IKF 100. That's a strike. Doesn't get called a strike. 99, kind of the same spot that gets called a strike. One and one's the count. Fouls back the 100 mile per hour pitch. One, two, strike away from winning the game. But Kiner Falefa says, no way. Takes the 100 and puts it up against the wall. Quan with the great effort, but Tilo scores. The game's tied. Quan's busted up. Kiner's ecstatic. Look at this effort. If he caught that, would have been a game-ending catch. Goes face first into the fence there. So that's a, like a, just a metal fence, and it's not a soft surface behind it. And you can see him say here, one Yankee fan yelling some ridiculous shit, celebrating the fact that he got hurt, maybe rooting for him to be more hurt than he was. And you can see Mercado here step around and go address people in the outfield. And then you can see Straw and Mercado trying to defend their buddy Quan, pointing out the guy who's saying it. And then Straw is going to climb the fence to get in his face. And one of the guys in the gray shirt kind of backs up a little bit. Now here's Mercado and Straw's take on all of this. Quan was a little shaken up and had some cuts in his face. And there was a specific Yankee fan in left field that... That was uh, celebrating Quan getting hurt. You can't say stuff like that, especially when someone someone gets hurt. So I just let him out. I was like, listen, man, you can chirp all you want, but don't celebrate someone getting hurt. That's classless. That shouldn't be a thing. Quan is the nicest guy on the planet, and that's my teammate. That's my brother. And um, some of the things that were said to him just for me wasn't going to fly. So, you know, my emotions got to me a little bit. But, um, you know, at that point, I feel like as a Yankees fan, you got to be excited for your team. You should be cheering and you should never prey on someone's, you know, the guy went head first into a hard wall. Um, there's no business for saying the things those guys said to him. And, um, you know, it got to me a little bit, and I, you know, I said what I said. And, um, I, I, you know, if I were to do it again, I probably would have said the same thing. That's my guy. And, uh, you know, at that point, just cheer. You know, be happy your team tied the game up and uh, be a normal baseball fan and just enjoy what's going on. They can chirp all they want, but when someone's hurt, just you should, you should never really talk the way you, they were talking to him. So obviously we don't know what he said, but we know that the kid behind them is throwing up this like pussy sign, which maybe, I mean, if you throw that up, it's it pretty much confirms that you are what you're accusing others of being hiding behind someone throwing that thinking it's something. And then the guy that's been filming it and Hey, where's this footage, dude, you have some cool footage trying to get like a fist bump out of him as he leaves. Just a bizarre scene. You can see this, woman up here she's like why are why are we doing this and these guys are talking shit now who knows what straw said probably like shut the fuck up don't talk shit to an injured player I, it seems like that's what they're saying and then these guys these these three guys man they just couldn't be more proud of themselves for doing nothing at all the guy throwing up the sign stays throwing up the sign like he's doing something cool just the least cool thing he could do. Look how proud of himself he is. And then he's going to throw it again. Man, what a loser. The umpires come over and they're like, all right, you're good, man. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, they were wrong. Mercado's talking to the other ump, letting him know, like, ask him. Ask him. He'll tell you. He'll tell you what he said. Meanwhile, the game's still going. It's tie game in the ninth. There's one out left. Glaber Torres, five career walk-off hits, most in MLB since 2018. He's pinch hitting against a dude who throws 101 on the first pitch. Strike one, that's a ball out on uh, an off-speed pitch. Off-speed again, he gets the strike there. Glaber turns, says, I kindly disagree, but all I can do is smile and swing at the next pitch. Hope you have a good day, Blue. And off-speed again, pokes that through the outfielders. Now watch what happens here. A beer can gets thrown at Mercado. Just one beer can. Now we're not in left field. These aren't those kids over there. This is just brand new people. The Yankees win and they throw a beer can. Now maybe they weren't aiming at him, but it came pretty close to him. So on the bottom right, you have the Yankees celebrating the win. Then you have Mercado picking up a beer can. Another one comes at him. He catches it. He's fighting with fans. The Yankees are celebrating. Beer cans are raining down. It's a weird scene. It's a bad scene. Bunch of asshole Yankee fans throwing beer cans instead of celebrating. We're not talking about like two fans throwing empty beer cans. We're talking about there's like 20 beer cans plus that end up on the field and water bottles that are full. 
that aren't like, and this ump's going to get hit right here by a beer can in the back that had beer in it. And then a water bottle that has water in it bumps. It's just, it's bullshit. And it's, it's, I don't know. It's, don't throw shit at players or on the field ever. But to do it after you win is just pathetic. Cause what did you buy the ticket for then? What are you there for? If your team wins via walk off and you and like, 30 of you throw beer at the other players. You're just... And then we got another loser here going after Mercado. You suck. You suck. You suck. His wife is grabbing his arm like, stop, stop, stop. You suck. You suck. And then he's going to go with the L on the forehead, takes off his hat to make sure he can see it, and he's going to start screaming, L. L. Loser. God damn, you are what you are accusing them of being. If you use these hand signals non-ironically, it is so embarrassing for you. Just pathetic. And then look at this. This dad is like grabbing his daughter because it's a scary scene. So look what these assholes are doing. If you're one of the assholes that threw beer, look what you did. You almost you hit a girl, and now the dad's got to protect her, and she's scared, and that's the scene after a fucking walk-off win of the team you went to see. And they keep going. Now Rizzo comes out. Cole comes out. Rizzo goes straight to Mercado, probably says, you good, you good, you good. Cole goes and tries to help out. Judge and Stanton go to right field to try and get the fans to stop. Glaber's like, my, my moment's ruined. Pinch hit, walk off, you dicks. And they're like, stop, stop. What are you doing? G's like, that's not cool, guys. It's so easy to not embarrass the rest of your fan base and not embarrass sports fans and not be a fucking dickhead or a loser. It's really easy. Step one, don't do the pussy sign or the L on the forehead sign unless you are 12 or under or living in in 1990 to 2000 step two don't root or clap for an injury step three don't throw shit at the players i hope all of the people that threw something are never welcome back to yankee stadium